There's a new movie and documentary hitting the theaters this week, and it's putting a spotlight on East Tennessee. Our Gwendolyn Ducree spent the day in Oak Ridge. Joining us now in the studio, Gwen, there's buzz over the hand it played in World War II. We're talking Oak Ridge, but we're also taking a look at Christopher Nolan's movie later. You're showing us a look at the documentary that students are getting to see first. That's right, Will. You know how so engrossed into a film that you can get and want more of it after watching? Well, that's what this documentary offers. Real people in real time while also giving us a look into the future. The Earth would never be the same from this point forward. A look back in time. <laughs> giving a glimpse at what could be the future of science. We were testing the unknown technology at that point. Taking that trip, director Trent DiGiulio says the upcoming documentary, Oppenheimer After Trinity. We have made a thing that by all the standards of the world we grew up in is an evil thing. The film shows us what happened right after the testing of the world's first atomic bomb in July of 1945. That bomb created right here in Oak Ridge, where the film is taking center stage at Oak Ridge High School. This is the story about what Oppenheimer went through in the processing of his own thoughts and how he felt about it. This free screening is highlighting the future of artificial intelligence while inspiring young minds like Isabella Zollinger, who's expecting to lead innovation in the medical field. No woman in my family got to, you know, have a voice like I do right now. She and other students and experts are making up a panel before the viewing to share their plans and concerns for AI. It can just make a ton of patterns and make predictions, but in order for AI to, you know, glean through data, it has to have access to a lot of private data that patients, you know, they need to be willing to share. Now that we're living among advanced AI, local scientists say it's time to create boundaries. And so what we want to do then is to find the right level of governance depending on the risk of the AI system. And that's what all the policymakers are working on today in Washington. So what's next for AI, according to Director DiGiulio? Leaving the Earth. Only the future will tell. In Oak Ridge, Gwendolyn Ducre, WVLT News. The documentary debuting the same time as the cinematic film Oppenheimer, which hits Oppenheimer, which hits theaters in Knoxville Friday.